Good morning, Tyler. Survive Smart here, um, 11 22 Hope you're well. Hope you're grateful today. Um, how you view the world is a confession of your character. I really like this. Um, you know, really eye-opening as well, too. You know, if you're someone who who's struggling, um, you know, with addictions, uh, alcohol, substance abuse, you know, in any way, sexual desires, um, you know, maybe you're not attracting the things that you want in this life, you know, the people that you want around you, the money you want, the abundance, the, you know, the good stuff, right? The, the things we all, I think, want and dream about. You know, you really got to look within. Like, if you're not trusting people, um, you know, if you don't feel the people around you are really the people that, um, you know, you see yourself uh, or see that they're a benefit to you, you know, in any way, or, or you're not really a benefit to them. Like, the first thing you got to do is really become a certain type of person to attract certain things to your life. You know, you got to have a level of gratitude. You got to have a level of um perseverance you know through any adversity that does come your way like you can't just quit you can't just give up because you know especially I think and in, in something I struggled with you know coming up and, and I just remember like I was always a pretty peaceful person you know in high school and in middle school and I thought I was you know pretty nice guy at least from what I can remember you know um, and a lot of the the beliefs that are given to us are instilled in us um, you know by our surroundings parents uh, coaches whoever it might be and what they how they view the world so you know it's hard to um, blame anything on yourself until you get out into the real world and then you have to retrain yourself and restructure these beliefs that have been given to you um and it's you know it's once again it's not really anybody's fault it's the people before them it's their surroundings you know how they choose to live and then you're given that and then you have to take what you want to do with it and and, and you know what i did is is it kind of just drove me a little bit crazy you know i i just thought I just started idolizing money a lot. Um, you know, I knew I had to work to get money uh, to, to then be able to do whatever it was that I wanted. And what I wanted to do was get money, you know, figure out ways to do that. So I was always searching that, uh, figuring out ways to do it. And I uh, could never stick through anything that, you know, was my own business. Um, I could find a job and sell over the phone. And, you know, I was innately a pretty good person because I worked hard, but I was also nice to people. Um, but behind closed doors, you know, or behind, in my own internal thoughts, you know, I probably thought, well, I know I thought like, oh, these people, man, some of these people are, are, are assholes. They're, they're rude. They're only, they only care about themselves, which most people do. Um, and, you know, they don't really care about me, et cetera. Uh, so what I did was it, it kind of externally said, well, I don't really care about myself. Um, I don't trust myself. I don't work hard. I'm not, you know, worthy of, of these things because these people are these, you know, that type of person. And I necessarily didn't want that either because I knew in Italy that wasn't who I was either. So it was like such a conflicting issue. Um, and that's why I'm talking about how you view the world as a confession of your own character. So if you're not trusting anybody uh, or even if people aren't trusting you, it probably means you aren't a trustworthy person. Um, you know, you lie to yourself. You lie to other people. You try to deceive people to get monetary gain or some type of personal gain. Um, so really look inside because this is a quick way to fix these things. I mean, it's not going to be super quick to fix this. Like you have to recognize it. You have to admit it at least to yourself and then go out and fix it. So you can't, you can't lie to people. You can't try to win them over, you know, um, deceitfully. Like, you know, you got to become that person, that person who tells the truth, that person who shows up every day, wakes up, um, gets to their job, really puts that work in every day, no matter what, like, and then obviously over time, this character is built. Um, so, if you're trying to build a different character, like if you're tired of struggling with, with addictions and, and desires and just personal gain, like you, because you're not going to get it, you know, you might get some money, you know, there's a lot of rich people who like have shitty ass lives. Their relationships suck. They lie to people to get their money. They don't serve them truly. They don't serve them wholeheartedly. And trust me guys, like I'm working on all of this stuff myself. Like I'm trying to become a certain type of person because I now know like I was escaping all of this shit that I didn't want in my life um, but I got it because you know I just thought that was what was going to make me happy or, or you know maybe I can just 
say fuck everybody and do what I want because I had, you know, and it's like, nah, man, that's not how it goes. So it only ends up in despair, you know, hurt, pain, um, a lot of shit that you didn't want, you know, and, and it's because that's not who we're supposed to be. Like this society gets us in, and gets us in all these thoughts and now social media, you see all these things out there and you want to find the quickest way to do shit. You want to uh, find the easiest way to do things. And like, there's nothing quick and easy about this process, guys. Um, the only thing quick and easy that you can do is something that ain't going to help you at all. And that's escape into your sugar, escape into your sexual desire, your TV, your your anger and your depression and your anxiety. Because it's easy to fall in that and feel victimized. And like, I get it. So like, there's nothing anybody could tell me, bro. But the only way you fix it. Is by putting the time in, the work in, the belief, the faith, and 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 just showing up every day. You gotta get in the gym. You gotta work out good. You gotta tell the truth. You gotta have integrity. You gotta come from a point of service, and just throw out all that other shit. Throw out all the lies. Throw out all the the wants and the desires of 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 money, of lust, of of all that stuff. And then over time, like right now, I'm in a phase of like, fuck, this shit's hard. Like, you know, I'm just getting. Like nothing's showing up right now, but it's just me showing up like and I can do a whole lot better job. You know, I'm showing up every morning here, showing up in the gym, eating really good, you know, but I, I got to make more dials. I got to take this new life insurance stuff to the head. Like, you know, I'm trying to get help as many people as I possibly can and and, um, you know, provide for my family. And I, you know, I know wholeheartedly one day it'll work out because I'm coming just from a point of service. But I still have that inside of me of that. I'm doing it to get rich so I can have all these things. And like, that's what's fucking with me, you know, just to be totally transparent and honest. I'm very still in the very beginning of my journey, you know, still pretty uh, much in the beginning of my sobriety journey, too. But I know a lot of things from just the understanding and, and wanting of, of this understanding for so long. And even though, you know, I was I was drunk and escaping through all these different desires and vices. I was still doing a lot of the work, you know, learning sales, learning business, you know, figuring out what I want to do and who I wanted to be. And now it's just finally doing the work and then obviously showing it and going through it day to day to day. And this is, like I said, a journey brand of just showing it. And then one day, you know, I mean, if it doesn't work out, screw it. Like, it's just because I'm not going to get to my deathbed one day or something's going to happen and I'm not going to look back and be like, damn. Why did I never do that? Look at all the shit that's... I've had a lot of shit in my life, you know? A lot of shit that I self-inflicted on myself and put in the way because of karmic debt, because I was a piece of shit, because I wanted those desires, because I wanted, 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 and you can't want. I think wanting is like all this stuff. I mean, like, and wanting positive things to provide and give back, yes, like, you gotta do that, but not wanting things to show off, to, you know, create other lusts in other individuals, our brothers and sisters, like... And that's why I think, you know, a lot of people get it confused and realize that they don't get it. And then they turn to the anger and depression because they don't have that external result because it's all for the wrong reason. And once you get on this right wavelength of gratitude for the right reasons, I think it comes on the back end of that. So I'm working on it every day. I hope this helps somebody. I hope you're grateful. Remember, like how you view the world, what you think and who you're around is really a confession of your own character. So build the character you want and you'll attract all those things that you want in this life. But you got to become that person. So let's get it together. Have a great day.